Hi my darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Capricorns. And this is gonna be a message for whenever it reaches you. And yes, I do know the dates will be off. Remember, these messages are meant for you when you get them, okay? All right, I'll be using my guardian angel messages tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdoms tarot. And darlings, I would like to say I welcome you all with open arms and an open heart. Darling, please know that I always deliver these messages from my heart to your heart, always, always. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay, babies? So let's see, Capricorn, what message we have for you, or messages, Capricorn. So Capricorn, this is for you. And yes, that is my dry, my washer going. Oh, you know, I still got work to do, okay? Regular work. So we got the six of air. Things are calming down in your environment, Capricorn. You got the queen of air. You might have a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius in your environment. Or maybe you're starting to clear away things that no longer serve you. You got the dreamer. This is past energy. You have a new beginning not too long ago. You got the sun, we got happiness and positivity. We got the ten of air. This is some kind of ending. And this is an ending that it hurts, it will hurt, but you will feel relief when this ends, okay? So there was some type of ending here. You got the ten of air. And you're going to recover from it. It's not nothing you ain't going to recover from, okay? You, you will see or you will start feeling the relief from it. Now, I don't know if it had something to do with anything legal. We get the justice card. Now, this is about karma, fairness, the law, cause and effect. You know, what you give, you receive. So if you set out with integrity, you have nothing to worry about. Okay. We got the seven of air. Be aware. That's about some betrayal. Watch your back. Be cautious. All right. When I see the seven of air, I always think you need to be cautious. We got the four of air. Um, this is about happiness in your environment, prosperity, contentment, celebration. So maybe you need to be cautious at an event. I'm not sure. Um, we got the ace of earth. We got the finances here. Um, a new opportunity, a new financial beginning, an opportunity that brings abundance. So, I don't know. I don't know if you're going through something here with the law. Because the justice card is the law. Or if this, I don't know. We'll keep going, okay? So, let's see. Show me Capricorn. So we have the six of air. On top of the six of air, we have the magician, the wheel of fortune, and the four of pentacles. So whatever it is, things really calm down in your environment. That means some magical stuff happened. And good, a fresh new start. All your delays were over. You had sudden and unexpected progress. And you found you some financial stability here. You feel financially balanced, very magical. You got the Magician, you got the Wheel of Fortune, and you got the Four of Pentacles. On top of the Six of Swords, and then you have the Six of Air. The Six of Air is about 
a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or this could be you clearing away things that no longer serve you. Might be an air energy, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius here. Um, you have to make a decision here. There's some type of decision that's a kind of hard, uh, hard decision. This is past energy now, okay? Now, I don't know what the decision, it could have had something to do with communication because the swords, they usually talk, that's about communicating, okay? Um, it's usually about communication. But you need to make a decision now. The decision you got to make has something to do with the air energy, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, and a fire energy, uh, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Sagittarius, or a Leo. So you got the king of air, you got the two, well, the king of swords, the two of swords, and you have the king of wands, which is the king of fire. Now, the King of Fire is also saying maybe you need to make a decision about taking charge of something, you know, and you need to communicate your, um, you need to communicate more clearly about what it is that you wanted to take charge of, okay? Give me one second. Let me stop my dryer because it keeps going on and off. One second. Okay. So then we got the dreamer, which is about new beginnings. So whatever this decision was about, it brought in some new beginnings for you. Now this is past energy. I don't know what it was about, okay? Only you know your situations. We got the queen of fire. So there's definitely some kind of fire energy here. It's going to be a Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius. And then you got the seven of wands, which is about you standing up for yourself and you being above your challenges. So there's some kind of also sadness around the situation. There's some type of sadness here. Great sadness, but it will heal in time. I have the three of swords. Healing misunderstandings. Being there for those in need. So however that resonates um, with you, you need to let go of the past, okay? There's something from the past that you're holding on to that's bringing you some sadness from the past past, okay? So you have the Queen of Fire. It might have to do with the fire energy. You have the Seven of Wands and you have the Three of Swords. Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Swords. And then the sun comes out, right? So, success. But you got some mindset of lack. Why? You got the mindset of lack where... A relationship is concerned. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges. The two cups. We have the five of pentacles. This mindset of lack is temporary. It's temporary blocking your sun, your happiness, okay? It's something about the past that's overshadowing something that's overshadowing still your, your present, all right? You got the five of pentacles, but this is temporary. This lasts as long as you allow it to last. It's up to you how long you stay in this energy, okay? So you have the five of pentacles. You got the two of cups. It could be about falling in love, the resurgence of a relationship, forgiveness, and the ending of challenges. But don't give up on people that you love. But there's something that you, you know, you're upside down about emotionally, and it's from the past. It has something to do with the past. We have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Five of Cups. You're focusing on the negative, all right? Now, there was some type of ending. I don't know if the decision had anything to do with the air energy and the fire energy up there, but there was some type of ending. You have the Ten of Air on top of the Ten. It was an argument, a big argument. Hmm. You're exhausted. You're mentally exhausted from the situation. It was an argument. Then this argument got you in your head. And Capricorn, we know you can get in your head sometimes, okay? And you overthink things. When those moments happen, you need to take a pause, take a deep breath, go outside and walk bare feet. Put on some socks, cotton socks, if you don't like the feeling of how the the grass feels 
you know, cotton socks, okay? And go walk out there and you're gonna feel better. So now you're either deep in, in thought, deep in meditation about this argument and this situation. There's something tiring you up, something with an ending. And an argument, a big argument. You got the four of swords, you got the five of swords, and you got the eight of swords. But you're starting to see the truth of the situation. Remember, any situation you get yourself in, you can get yourself out of, okay? Just process the emotions of whatever is going on. Then you have the justice card. I don't know if this is, you know, the law. It has something to do with a new beginning. Romance might have something to do with a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Or maybe after this situation is over, you're going to feel emotionally balanced. Because you're going to take care of whatever this argument was or whatever's going on here. You, it's going to be a thing of the past. You're not going to hang on to any of this. You're going to let it go. You're going to let it go. Okay? Because you love you. And you're not going to hold on to negative things. Because when you hold on to negative things, it's like putting a negative shield around you. How can positive things come through then? Okay? So, things are going to work out in your favor. All right? You got the dreamer, you got the knight of cups, and you got the king of cups. Now, the king of cups could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Maybe some new romance can come in once this situation is taken care of. Um, because we got the knight of cups. We got the king of cups as well. Now, the king of cups could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. But there's a new beginning coming, okay? There is a new beginning. Now, the king of cups could also be saying that you're feeling emotionally balanced where whatever is taking place or where this new beginning is concerned, okay? And you're going to take the leap of faith and may lead you wherever it so desires. That's where you're meant to go. Maybe that's what you're deciding to do. Take a leap of faith, push through your fears, and trust yourself. I don't know, but I feel something romantic. You got the dreamer, you got the knight of cups, and you got the king of cups. I feel good things are going to happen. But you got to be aware. Be cautious. For every action, there is a reaction. For everything we do in life, we got consequences to pay, okay? You're going to overcome that. This um, this seven of air is what brought in that um, justice card. This Whatever the situation was, it's gone. It's over. You got mental clarity or communication that you wish to find or, or that you were looking for. You found balance. We got the Ace of Swords. Mental clarity or maybe new communication. Mental clarity. You became aware of the situation. You got the Six of Pentacles. The good that you do comes back to you. Find balance. And then we got the Justice card on top of the Six of Pentacles, which is about balance. And I feel, this is what the card says. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of the situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. And then right down here, we got the four of wands. So you got the ace of swords, you got the six of pentacles, and you got the justice card. And then we got the four of fire. work out you focusing on the details learning some new things you celebrating you're gonna have news worthy of celebration you got the three of cups you got the eight of pentacles and you got the nine of cups your wishes are gonna come true and your dreams will become a reality see the thing is you just have to believe in you you have to know that all things are possible it's because we're, all things are possible because we're dealing with possibilities now and not probabilities okay all things are possible through love love for self first okay because the only way we can love another is if we love self first always remember that okay babies and if someone loves you there's absolutely no ill treatment there's some misunderstandings of course because there are two people trying to come together to make one 
but not the huge horrible ones okay so be aware pay attention I don't know somebody need to hear that message there so but you're gonna have cause for celebration here you you paying attention to the details and your wishes are coming true you got the three of cups on top of the four of wands you have the eight of pentacles and you have the nine of cups your wishes and your dreams coming true where your finances are concerned Now, you, it seems like there's going to be something coming in here, something you're focused in, focused on from the past where finances are concerned. Maybe an opportunity that you had that you said, maybe thinking, oh, maybe I should, should have taken it, you know, but I wasn't paying attention. I was lost in my head. But you're planning carefully, okay? You're planning things, and you're going to take the action that you need to take when the time is right, all right? You're very focused. you got to wait for the perfect timing. There's something from the past that's coming. It's got you in your head a little bit. But don't miss no magical opportunities, you know. Don't stay in your head and get lost there. And you got the Knight of Pentacles. Plan careful, carefully before taking action. But then you need to get going. And pay attention to the details. You got the Six of Cups, you got the Four of Cups, and you got the Knight of Pentacles. some anxiety you're gonna have a little anxiety you're gonna be a little emotional but there's gonna be celebration or it could be a Pisces a Cancer a Scorpio that's gonna bring in reason for celebration you got the nine of um, swords here now I don't know if things are going so good for you that you are got lost for a moment here in your head where is the four of swords at? up here and where the argument it could be that your thing is still holding on to a little negativity about where this argument took place, about why this argument took place. I'm not sure. All right? And you could be feeling a little emotional. But there's also happiness in your environment. So don't stay in that negative place too long, okay? You got the Nine of Swords, you got the Four of Wands, and you got the Queen of Cups. Um, at the end of it all, you're going to have a little, a little chaos and confusion that's going to happen, okay? Now, it could be in your head, okay? It's not going to last long. Whatever it is that's hanging around and keeping you in a negative place, you will be able to let go of it. I got the Queen of Swords. All right, we got the transformation card. This is still causing chaos and confusion in your environment. You got the Queen of Swords and you got the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Swords could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. You did have something in the past here that happened that you had to make a decision about. I don't know if that's what it is or if you're finally clearing away this old residue of this negative stuff that's hanging around. Because after that, we got the Ten of Cups here. And the Ten of Cups is about a happy marriage, a happy, happy, happily ever after. Ooh. Okay, emotional contentment, really beautiful things. So don't let this, whatever it was that caused chaos and confusion, don't let that upset anything. Don't, let, don't stay there too long. You'll be okay. You got the Transformation card, you got the Queen of Swords, and you got the Ten of Cups. And I'm going to leave it right there, Capricorn, because at the end of everything, life does have ups and downs. And you will do just fine. You know that. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves, and we will chat soon.